The guide for identifying evidence-based interventions for school improvement is intended to help state education agencies, or SEAs, carefully consider the evidence supporting intervention options that they may require or recommend in their state Every Student Succeeds Act, or ESSA, plan and funding applications. SEAs could indicate in their state ESSA plan how they have used or will use the self-study process described in this guide to identify interventions in partnership with stakeholders. The purposes of this guide are to help SEAs first evaluate the evidence base for interventions as they identify those to be included in the state plan for ESSA as options for schools in need of comprehensive or targeted support. Second, determine the interventions that have strong evidence and are relevant and appropriate to meeting the needs of the local education agencies, or LEAs. And third, plan to provide resources for LEAs to help them choose the best evidence-based options for schools in need of comprehensive or targeted support to include in school improvement plans. Self-study is a decision-making process conducted by a team of SEA staff who are led by a chosen facilitator. The process involves preparation, discussion, and planning. All tools that are utilized during the self-study may be completed electronically or can be printed and filled out by hand. Step 1 is preparation. Begin with building the team that will work through the self-study process. The team may include school improvement specialists, content area specialists, exceptional student education and English language learner specialists, those involved in professional development, as well as leadership knowledgeable in school improvement. The SEA may also wish to include representatives from local education agencies, such as district leaders, school principals, or teachers. The broader the range of knowledge and skills reflected on the team, the better. Team members individually review research and identify one or more evidence-based interventions to present to the team. They also review and rate the sample interventions included in the guide. The SEA scoring template contains fields where the team members may enter, the school improvement area, the name of an intervention in that area, the evidence level according to ESSA, strong, moderate, or promising, and a summary of research, and any additional information that should be considered, guiding questions that may provoke team discussion, and a place to enter citations. After considering the information available, team members individually rate each intervention as not recommended, recommended, or strongly recommended. The SEA scoring guide provides sample interventions based on the following five areas, which research shows as being important to school improvement. These include implementing systemic change, establishing strong leadership, improving academic instruction, developing and retaining a high quality staff, and creating a positive school climate and culture. The scoring guide contains examples of interventions in each area, the ESSA evidence level, a summary of research, additional information that teams may wish to consider, and guiding questions that may be helpful in determining a rating for the intervention. Team members individually rate each intervention as not recommended, recommended, or strongly recommended. Step 2 is discussion. After the SEA scoring templates and SEA scoring guides have been completed, a facilitator guides the team through a voting process and discussion of the interventions and individual ratings. This promotes thoughtful consideration of interventions the SEA may require or recommend in their state ESSA plan and funding applications. The facilitator uses the SEA voting and consensus rating form to record the team's recommendation for each intervention after the team votes, engages in discussion, and comes to consensus. The final step in the self-study process is planning. The guiding questions in the SEA scoring guide, along with the discussion of each intervention, may lead to a conversation regarding priorities, implementation, challenges, and resources that should be provided to LEAs. The SEA planning form is used to record priorities, ideas regarding implementation and resource development for LEAs, and any anticipated challenges. The facilitator leads the discussion centered on these topics and uses the form to capture ideas and to establish timelines and responsibilities for team members. 
Additional tools in the self-study guide include Appendix A, an annotated bibliography which correlates to each of the areas in the scoring guide, and Appendix B, which provides a description of theory of action and an example of a logic model. References are also provided in the guide. For more information, see essa.fsu.edu.